One of the steps to setting up a project is linking the architectural model. You can link Revit project files to other Revit projects. To do this, you must start a new project and then link in an architectural model. In the Recent Files window, under Projects, click Systems Template to create a new project using the Systems Template. To link the architectural model into the project, on the Insert ribbon, in the Link panel, click Link Revit. Revit displays the Import Link RVT dialog. You can navigate to the folder containing the file you want to link. Select archlink.rvt. When you do, you can see a preview of the model. Pay attention to the positioning dropdown. Expand the dropdown to display the six options for placing the linked Revit file into the current model. Auto, center to center, automatically places the linked file so that its geometric center is located at the geometric center of the current model. You would typically choose this option when you plan to adjust the location later. Auto, origin to origin, automatically places the linked file so that its origin is located at the origin of the current model. In most cases, this is the preferred method. Auto, by shared coordinates, places the linked file at the shared origin position. You would choose this option if both files are already part of the same shared coordinate system. The manual options allow you to place the link manually, with the cursor located at one of the three locations in the linked file at the origin of the linked file, at the base point of the linked file, or at the geometric center of the linked file. You then specify the insertion point by picking the location in the host file. When beginning a new project where you will link in an architectural model, the origin to origin option is the best. This will place the architectural model's origin at the origin of the project coordinate system in the current project. Then you can acquire the shared coordinate system from the architectural model. At that point, both coordinate systems will match, and there should not be any confusion between the coordinates in each project file. So choose Auto, Origin to Origin, and then click Open. Once Revit reads the file and brings it in, you can see it within the host model. Use the keyboard shortcut VG to open the Visibility Graphic Overrides dialog. Scroll down and expand the Site category. Turn on the visibility for the Project Base Point and Survey Point, and then click OK. As you can see, both points are located at the same spot. The project base point defines the origin of the project coordinate system, while the survey point represents a known point in the physical world, such as a geodetic survey marker. The survey point is used to correctly orient the building geometry in another coordinate system, such as the coordinate system used in a civil engineering application. That coordinate system then becomes the shared coordinate system without interfering with the project coordinate system. The project coordinate system is used more in MEP models. For example, it is more important to know the elevation and location of ductwork in relation to the building and not necessarily the site. As you can see, the project base point is located at the corner of the building. That is the origin in the architectural model as well as this current model. Since this model was linked using the origin to origin option, you know that is the case. When you select the linked model, the entire model is treated as one object. Looking in the properties palette, you can see that it's a linked Revit model, 
and that it has a name value separate from the actual file name. There is also a shared site parameter that is currently not shared. When you click the button in the value field, Revit displays the share coordinates dialog. Here, you can either publish the coordinates of the host file into the linked file, or you can acquire the coordinates from the linked file. Be aware that this is the shared coordinate system that will be published or acquired. Best practice is to establish the shared coordinate system in a site model and use that coordinate system in all other linked models. So make sure to coordinate with the architect and make sure that the shared coordinate system is already established in the model you are linking in. If so, you should acquire those coordinates. Acquiring the shared coordinate system from the linked file will modify the shared coordinate system of the current project and will also modify all sites of other linked models if there are any. Select the Acquire option and then click Reconcile. When you do, the shared coordinate system is acquired from the linked architectural model and the current location is recorded as the default internal position in this project file. Also, be aware that the survey point has moved. It is now located at the intersection of the property lines. At this point, the MEP model shares the same shared coordinate system and project coordinate system as the architectural model. And since the position is recorded in this file, an error will appear if the location is moved. For the majority of MEP projects, you will not have to worry about the coordinate systems beyond the initial setup. The next step is to match the levels in the current project to the levels in the architectural model. Then you can begin modeling. With the linked Revit model still selected, on the contextual ribbon, in the link panel, there are two tools. Find link will convert the linked Revit model into a group within the host file. Manage links will open the Manage Links dialog. Note that the Manage Links tool is also available on the Insert ribbon in the Links panel and on the Manage ribbon in the Manage Project panel. You can also access this tool from within the project browser. Scroll down, right click on Revit Links, and then choose Manage Links. Each Manage Links tool opens the Manage Links dialog. You can use the controls in this dialog to manage several different types of linked files, including linked Revit models. You can also add linked Revit models using the Add tool in this dialog. 